Buongiorno, good morning everyone. This is Lucrezia, your local guide in Venice. And today I'm in the north of the city, in Canareggio district, to tell you about one of the most beautiful churches we have in this area, which is known as the Madonna dell'Orto, as you can read on the sign right there behind me. Behind me right now you can see the facade of the church that has been built in the second half of the 14th century. In the beginning this church was meant to be dedicated to the Virgin Mary and Saint Christopher, protector of the merchants and sailors. This choice was due to the fact that commerce and maritime trade in this area were particularly intense. But uh, unfortunately the monk who was in charge for the construction of this church soon ran out of money and he had to find a way to collect some funds to complete the construction. Just a few blocks away from this church there was the private house of a sculptor known as Giovanni de Santi who had been asked by the bishop of the church of Santa Maria Formosa, which is not far from here, to create a statue of the Virgin Mary with Jesus that had to be put inside the church of Santa Maria Formosa. But unfortunately before he could finish the statue that bishop said that he didn't need it anymore. That's why he said that he could keep it. Therefore, the sculptor decided to put the unfinished statue in his vegetable garden. Very soon that statue began to attract people from all over the neighborhood and later also from all over the city that wanted to go there to pray. Very soon they also began to think that it was a sort of a miraculous culture that could basically uh, help people healing. And at this point the monk who was in charge for the construction of the church behind me decided to ask the sculptor to donate the statue to the church so he could collect the funds necessary to complete the construction. The sculptor decided to agree at one condition. He wanted to be buried one day just in front of the statue of the Madonna that he had sculpted. So the statue of the Madonna of the Vegetable Garden was brought in this church and thanks to the money collected they managed to complete the construction of the church. That began to be called by people in this area the Church of the Madonna of the Vegetable Garden because everybody knew about the story of that famous statue of the Virgin. Nowadays you can still see the statue of the Madonna that is still unfinished of course and right in front of it you can also see the burial stone of that artist Giovanni De Santi. You also should know that uh, just a few minutes away from this church there was the private house and the workshop of the famous Venetian painter Tintoretto that uh, actually worked for more than 30 years inside this church. In here in fact you can still find many of the works of art he made during his career and also he wanted to be buried inside this church with his family. So if you come visiting the church of the Madonna of the Vegetable Garden you can still find a chapel dedicated to the Tintoretto family. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to know more about this fantastic church which is a jewel of the Venetian Gothic style and if you are visiting Venice and you would like to get also some tips and tricks make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so you will not miss any new video and if you are visiting Venice and you would like to do a tour with me make sure to visit www.secretvenicetour.com to see the tours that I offer. Ciao!